four. We can look at number five. It says, which of the following isotopes would you expect to be stable? Okay, so you have, uh, this is 234PA, you have four helium, uh, carbon 12, uh, 238 uranium here, and 58 nickel here. So it says, which of the following uh, isotopes would you uh, expect to be stable here? So if you look at the first one, PA, PA has an atomic mass of 234, right? So you would expect PA to be somewhere um, here. It's pro protact. Protactinium, protactinium. This here is is a it's it belongs in our actinide groups here. So this here is actually a very unstable group. Protactin, pro, pro, protactinium. I can't I can't pronounce that. Whatever. Pa here is again. It's right beside uranium here, which is actually very very reactive. So these isotopes, uh, iso, iso, uh, these um these elements here are going to go through uh, radioactive decay or alpha decay or some type of um decay to uh to basically uh, release energy here. So this one is definitely not stable. Um, PA is not stable here. And you can assume that uranium is also not stable because again, these are very, very highly, highly radioactive isotopes here. Um, so you're left here with um, with helium. Helium, is, helium, carbon 12 are pretty stable as isotopes just because they, again, they exist kind of uh, in the further up uh, kind of, um, um, in the, on the periodic table. And nickel here as uh, nickel here as 58 would also be, uh, would also be um, stable here because again it's not a radioactive isotope here so these three compounds would be um, more stable here so again most stable compounds are uh, helium carbon and nickel here that's good and then um, pa and uranium have a greater atomic number than 83 so 83 you can th say it's the cutoff um, for depending on um, depending on um, what do you think in terms of uh, the uh, in terms of radioactive decay here? So you can say that basically, I uh, like normally elements that are further down the periodic table are less stable than the ones that are uh, at the top. So the solution here is correct. Good analysis here.